This conference will now be recorded. This conference will now be recorded. Has main three, mainly three processes. Okay, one is the sales part, mm -hmm. second one is the delivery part, and the third okay. one is the billing. Yeah. Okay. okay, makes sense. To achieve these process only, to achieve this process only, actually, we need to build the system from scratch. Okay, when I say Great. build the system from scratch, there are many models in SAP. Okay, like finance uh, department uses uh, FIC board model okay, in SAP. Likewise, the material management use uh, SAP MM. Likewise, the production uh, department use uh, SAP PP production, okay, production planning. Likewise, right. there are many other, uh, each company will have a different departments. For each department, SAP has actually evolved with so many models. Okay, right. likewise, uh, for sales and distribution, okay, we have SAP ST. So in this SAP ST model, what we do means we know how to build up any sales process. Okay, as per the industry wise, what are the sales process are there? Everything can be built up in the SAP. Likewise, mm -hmm. the whole delivery system, okay, transporting the goods to the customer, everything can be automated and can be recorded. At any point in time, you can uh, make a search, it will uh, get you the report. And then right. billing. So right. seamlessly, I mean, you can do the billing, periodic billing, milestone billing, any type of billing, I mean, in the industry, whatever we have. So everything can be done in uh, SAP using this model called sales and distribution. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the uh, uh, main uh, funda for uh, building this uh, model. Okay. Now, right. to understand this, as a consultant, as a function,
additional consultant okay let's say what is our job will be like uh, we'll be going and uh, first gathering the requirements from the client so mm-hmm. basically a company is there so that company will have a sales and distribution department okay so there yeah. i mean how they are selling the goods to the customer we need to talk to them and we need to understand okay how their sales are so like uh, what wh- what are their products okay how they are selling their products in what channel they are selling the products are they selling through online or they selling through retail or they are doing direct selling or uh, they are doing using dealers okay right. and how many product divisions are there how many product types are there okay what is the price for it okay how what are the discounts they are giving any customer specific discount okay like there are several things we have in the yep. uh, in the product okay exactly, so all yes. these aspects all these aspects are observed in uh, sap and you can uh, achieve it okay that's how the whole uh, uh, the model specialties to right. start with this first we will learn something called as enterprise structure okay every company will have their own enterprise structure when i say enterprise structure for sd i'm saying okay so in sd there have certain enterprise structure or we call it the this as a organizational units okay right. so under this we'll be learning what is called as company code okay so these are the um, uh, the uh, you can say like wordings which we use in sap very very commonly what is called as company code will define actually will define a company code because it is uh, for a company only we are doing right so we define a company code then we define the sales organization let's say a company can have one sales organization or a company can have more than one sales organization by the way sales organization is nothing but that is the responsible organizational unit for which i mean through which only you are selling the goods to the customer is there any uh, dispute with the customer or is there any pricing negotiation everything will be taken care of with the sales organization okay. right Next. likewise we will be identifying the distribution channel so right. we will be creating distribution channel distribution channel is said like online uh, all sales, sales retail sales, retail account dealers, account. okay all these things comes under distribution channel so mm-hmm. we first define the distribution channel as per the client okay how their business process accordingly will first define and then division also division is nothing but a product lines when i say product line means let's say for example take harley davidson company so harley right. davidson company uh, motor bikes that is one division so under the motor bikes there have so many models in motor bikes right. so division is one division is maybe it's just type. like a category basically yes yes <laughs> you can say like that okay, okay. like with uh, service parts or uh, spare parts so spare mm-hmm. parts is a division under the spare parts division there will be so many uh, spare parts products will be there okay right. so you can simply call it as it is called like a product line or line of right. product right then all this i mean in sales most of things will be in stock okay so we have to keep the product ready so that whenever the sales comes we need to do the delivery so where we stock the products we need a big warehouse so that is called as in sap sd we call this as a delivery plant right. so under the delivery plant will be there will be several storage locations Okay, so right. different different product will have different store locations. Let's say if it is a liquid uh, type of product, we need to have a barrel kind. Okay, let's right. say uh, we need to keep some uh, meat type of product. Okay, we should have cold something. Cold storage. Uh, yeah. yeah, cold storage. Okay, so like with some egg, for example, egg 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 uh, like that product means we need to have a special storage so that it can contain more. We can stock right. it more. Okay, so though all these things are storage locations which will be coming under the delivery plant, and then. whenever a order is created we need to deliver the product to the customer okay so how right. we deliver means there should be something called a shipping point shipping right. point is nothing but something like near to the plant there will be some physical locations like the truck stop or a railway station where the goods trains goes or uh, the um, uh, air cargo or in the harbor i mean uh, i mean through the ship also we can send the products so all these things whichever is closer to the plant we call them as shipping point right okay from that from this point only we will be sending the goods to the customer place okay? okay so these are the first things which we will define and then we give connection also okay we give connection between company code and sales organization that is called assignment we will say likewise we assign sales organization distribution channel division that is a connection we provide likewise we connect between company code and plant likewise we connect delivery plant and storage location likewise we connect delivery plan and shipping point so these are the connections which we give okay all these things are customizing okay so whenever you start initiate a project so in the yeah. project the first step will be this one only right next to this we build up master data right okay so there are 
several master data okay there are six master data uh, when you uh, study about customer i mean uh, sales and distribution the are first right. one is customer master second one is material master the third right. one is the combination between both customer and material info record we say so this is also a master uh, between the customer material and then we have output master so, so what is uh, i know what customer master and material master is what is customer mm -hmm. material info record is customer material info record means with the combination of customer material okay you can store certain uh, informations okay like um, uh, uh, let's say we say a product something like abc123 a product id okay abc123 right. sir product id but whenever the customer plays an order no he can place an order with let's say like a laptop laptop inspiron dell laptop inspiron that's this much only he will say but the mm -hmm. system will automatically identify okay for this customer if he enters like this then uh, this is our product abc123 so system okay. automatically so, so these kind of things you can do under this custom material info record okay. right and and always i mean whenever uh, so some of the fields like uh, uh, in a sale order uh, the system has to determine the delivery plant so system usually comes to this level first okay the first priority will be taken here so it will check here the delivery plant is maintained or not if it is not maintained then only system goes to the customer master or under right. material master so this takes a priority i mean for determination okay now we have output master output master is something like uh, when you create an order so automatically a order acknowledgement will be sent to the customer okay mm -hmm. so when you create a delivery document so that time your delivery note will be sent to the customer or when you're doing a billing document automatically invoice will be sent to the customer so all these right. things come from the output master then we have something called as incompleteness okay so this incompleteness is a master data where we set the customizing in such a way that if the user failed to enter certain fields in a sales order then system will not allow you to save the sales order rather it will say there is these are the fields are missing so please enter it then only right. it gets makes sense yeah <clears throat> so those things comes under incompleteness and finally right. we have this pricing master or pricing condition we say generally we say pricing condition not master okay, okay. so this is pricing master data okay we set up the pricing master data depends upon the customer depends upon the material depends upon the plan okay, there are different ways different combination you can set up the pricing when i say pricing means it covers everything okay it covers uh, the price it covers the uh, discount it promotion covers, uh, right. surcharge it covers the tax okay all these things comes under the pricing right. condition okay. okay so so this is what the master data is all about the next the one pricing is, condition will also have like free goods like let's say if some customers buying yes, yes. free goods free, free goods uh, special topic i will take okay it will, okay. It will follow now next to the master data what it comes is the determination part okay so let's say there are certain determinations happens in the uh, uh, sales order like uh, so you can say automatic determination okay so these are very very important uh, uh, interview questions and certificate questions okay automatic yeah. determination in sales order so what are things means we study means how a plant is determined okay please say plant determination how a plant is getting determined a sale order likewise how a shipping point gets determined a sale order so right. we don't enter anything okay so system will automatically uh, uh, fetch the specific plan and specific shipping point okay even the route also in which route it needs to send okay the goods to the customer that also it will identify so all these things happens automatically Okay. Right. Likewise, we have something called as item category. So this will I'll, I'll, I'll put in another category. Okay, not not now. Plus, plus there are few things like uh, what is the business item data means. Okay, in the sales order, we we say in the header level is called business item data. So those things we'll study. Likewise, uh, we study what is called as document flow. Okay, in the sales order, I mean, uh, let's say you create inquiry, then uh, through the inquiry you create quotation, and through the quotation you create order. Okay, so like this also you can make the process. At any point in time when you jump to your document, from that document you can see what is the preceding and succeeding document also. Okay, mm -hmm. let's say for example, I'm just what I'm saying is, you have created an inquiry document. So with the reference to the inquiry document, you have created a quotation. With the reference to the quotation, you have created an order. 
okay likewise it will be going on like you create a delivery after that from there you have done the billing so this yeah. completes the process okay sorry quotation now so now here if you jump to this quotation document from yeah. their system will allow you to see what is the inquiry document what is the order document okay if you right. go to the order document the system will allow you to show what is a quotation document or what is a delivery document which got created so this kind right. of flow you can see under this document flow okay then so these are the automatic determination sales orders and the next one is very important thing sales document itself okay when you say a sales document the structure there are three types okay there are three views sales document structure has three views so we call them as header item and schedule line okay in any sales document inquiry quotation or uh, order you take okay the view will be like this header item schedule line okay right. so this header part is controlled the header part is controlled by in, in customizing the header is controlled by sales document type Likewise, the item part is controlled by item category. We'll be extensively studying on these things. These are the very important things. I mean, the SD model. Right. And schedule line is controlled by schedule line category. Okay. So we'll mm -hmm. we'll learn how to define a sales document type. Okay. How to define item category. How to define a schedule line category. Plus, there are certain determinations. Okay. How a item category determines determination so automatic system will determine the item category by itself okay right. we, we don't enter anything system will automatically system will determine the item category likewise schedule line category also will be determined by the system okay so for all these so things, when you say when you say okay. yeah when you are saying that item category or schedule line category will be determined automatically mm -hmm. is it like when you uh, Putting a pro when you select a product, then it will automatically select the category and the schedule. Exactly, line. exactly. For example, let's say let's I'm in the SAP screen. I'm creating an order. Okay, VA01 is a transaction code for creating an order. Either you can go like this, or you can go to logistics, sales and distributions, navigate to sales, order, create. So either one, you can go like this, or you can go like this. Okay, if you started working more and more, you start using this transaction code. Okay, like VA01 enter now i am in the creation of sales order okay so right. first system is asking the order type order type is nothing but here what we say is sales document type okay so it, it, it denotes the process also let's say i'm creating a standard order so we call them as or okay and i give the sales area so whenever i create an order i have to provide the sales area when i say sales area means one sales organization one distribution channel one division so all these things should be created before creating the Order. That's why first we yeah. studied about the enterprise structure. So I just enter. Okay, sorry. Thousand. Ten zero zero. So this becomes a sales area. Now enter. Mm -hmm. Now here I am entering the customer. Okay, sold to party is nothing but the customer. Shipped to party is nothing but the person who receives the goods. Okay, that is called. It can be the same person also. A purchase order number is a optional uh, a field. Okay then i am directly going to the material let's say i enter a material okay i enter a material and order quantity as one so after this i'm not entering anything you can see i have just entered the sold to party ship to party material one quantity yeah. this much only now you can see the item category this is the place item category is blank you can see plant is blank okay till now yeah. pricing you can see it is zero now i'm just pressing the enter button Okay, can you see system immediately fetches the data so it went to the customer master data and fetches the who is the customer name what is the address everything okay yeah it went to the material master data it identify the description okay how the customer says uh, the description and it has determined the item category okay it has determined the plant it has determined the price so all these things instantly it happens okay all these things we are doing setup in the background right okay so so, so this is how this is what here? Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, so be, I I don't have like too much of a background of SAP as a consultant uh, career. What I mean to <clears throat> ask you is like, so that window which you which we which you just showed is is for the client, right? For the client employees who will be creating those sales orders. But like yes. all those information, like which 
category it will be which uh, plant would uh, yes. that that is the those are the things which 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 we will be designing right yes yes for this we have to design okay there is a, a screen okay we let's say i'm opening a new session mm -hmm. and if you go to this transaction code called spro okay yes. spro we navigate and i click this sap reference img that is an implementation guide so here only it will give the guide it's an implementation guide for all the models okay right. so for example for your first sales and distribution this is the place so this right. is the place where you customize so many things okay like master data basic functions sales so all these right. things you customize so here only you can see like let's say uh, the the company code uh, sales or nation distribution channel so all these things where you have customized means there is a place called enterprise structure you can see here right so here only under the definitions you define okay let's say the company code okay you can see this edit copy daily check company code this is the place you define the company code likewise right. Here is the place where you can define the sales or nation distribution right. channel. Okay, right. likewise, you have a division, you have plant, you have storage right. location. Okay, likewise, you have a, here a shipping point. Right. So all these things we work it here. Okay, okay. and this, so this is, is the this main, is this is the main you, place. Yeah. Where we work for customizing. Right. So whenever whenever I say plant determination, shipping point determination, route determination, all the the work related things we do here only. Okay, let's say shipping it, right. I mean, this is the to... real part. This is the real part for the client, right? Where you define all the uh, the requirements of the client. And yes, then, yes. Yeah. You do it here, what you and here. Uh, yeah, you do it here, and the, the final result you can see it in the sales order. Right. That's all okay. it is. Right. Okay. So, so whoever is an employee of the customer, no, they will be working as an end user. You when you say no, you will be seeing this one only. So in the back end, what you have done, I mean that that cannot be, I mean, seen. Okay. Right. Yeah, because you'll be working directly in the production and uh, you'll be doing the operation work, right? So that time, I mean, uh, you don't have the access to go and check also. I mean, in exactly. some cases, they don't provide the access also. Right. Now, so so let's say sales document type, item category, schedule and category, how the item category is getting determined, how the schedule and category determined, okay? So all these things we'll study. So I just giving a glimpse of it. Let's say in yeah. the sales order, when I click this small button, that is a header button. When you click this, so this talks about a sales document type, order type. Okay. Likewise, I just go back. I select this, the item. And below there is a small button that is called as item details. So I said there are three views, right? The first view is header view. Second view is the item data view. You can see under the item data. So what all the information comes, okay, here, all are related to that specific material. What is there in the sale order? Right. Okay, so here you can see the item categories T E A N. Now there is right. one more level called schedule lines. Right. So under the schedule lines, you can see the schedule line category. So something like scheduling category C P is there. Okay. So that also has a small part. I mean, uh, in uh, dealing the delivery dates and uh, confirming the quantity. Okay, it, it, it takes care of it. So right. everything has certain functions. Okay, accordingly it works. Now right. we have studied about this. Then system will have a document flow. We call this as here. So already I specified here the document flow. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the updation of document flow. Okay. So what what system does means okay there is something called as copy control. Okay. So this copy control is the backbone of uh, making the process like this. Okay. Right. So system. Okay, we'll actually copy the inquiry document here. Inquiry document, you enter the customer details, material details, right? So those things will get copied in the quotation document. And with the quotation document, some additional information will come. And those right. things will get copied in the order. And after mm -hmm. the order, when you create delivery, additional information will get copied in the delivery. And then additional right. information will get copied with the billing also. So the okay. user no need to enter again and again when you're creating the document. So all this works is simplified using this copy control setup. Right. Okay. So it's very important copy control. We'll be studying what is called copy control. What is called as uh, copying requirement. Okay. So all these things we'll study. And there is something called create with reference. Okay. So create with reference means, I mean, uh, when I want to create a quotation, I give the references and query. Okay. Right. Because when I want to create an order, I give the uh, references quotation. So mm -hmm. it should be logical. You cannot create a order uh, directly with a reference to an inquiry. That is wrong. That is illogical. Right. 
okay so those things we'll do under this create with reference okay these all uh, functionalities which we work next one is special business transactions okay some of the special business transaction as per the industry power we'll discuss okay like uh, what is called as cash sale how it is worked uh, in sap that yeah. is how what is called as rush order how it is worked in sap uh, what is called as consignment process how it works in sap likewise uh, what is called as uh, uh, subsequent subsequent free of charge okay so how this will work okay and uh, <clears throat> likewise we have a free of delivery okay this is all nothing but let's say uh, free of delivery means uh, a new product has been introduced in the market to your loyal customers you are giving us some samples and you are not charging for the customer right it's called free of delivery like right. subsequent free of charge means uh, something like um, already the customer yeah, has received the product and yeah. the customer is not happy with it so customer is returning the product so for that we are sending one new product and we are not charging right. for it that is called right. us consignment it's something like uh, a company to company a company would be sending the products to the, uh, the, the customer site and uh, they won't charge for it immediately whenever the customer consume the product that time we'll charge it okay right. so it is a, a kind of a four step process okay which we'll see in the class like with rush order rush order directly you go to the company and just collect the product and you you go off you pay and go off that is called a rush order cash right. sale is like departmental store you go to a supermarket you select the products okay you collect by yourself you go to the cash counter and then you pay it and you take the delivery by yourself that is called as cash sale so all right. these things we can uh, achieve in sap okay yeah. then all these things i mean this study materials everything what i'm going to share is the sap certified um, uh, study materials only okay now yeah. after the business uh, special business con uh, transactions we have something called contract how contracts are because in sales we use contract right agreement also is there okay yeah. so we have several contracts which will be studying like what is called as uh, value contract what is called as um, quantity contract okay what all the customizing is behind this okay how to set up contract so all these things we'll study from the contract how to create orders so everything we'll see under this contract then right. we have material determination so what is this material determination means basically um, uh, let's say in the during the festival time okay you don't want to sell a product which is uh, not having uh, much stock so for that you want to sell another product which is in stock okay so during the time i mean let's say customer wants to buy a product okay which is having less stock but the system will propose that there is a material similar to the same characteristic okay mm -hmm. uh, right. that the customer could buy so if the right. customer likes it customer can purchase it so those things called as material determination so how this right. material determination works okay in the customizing all these things we'll see then we have as you said free free goods Right. You study how the free goods work okay so there are something like uh, inclusive and exclusive some rules are there okay so we'll study i mean how this works how the pricing uh, depends upon this how the pricing matters okay like for example if you purchase um, a sample you'll yeah. get a soap as free that is one yeah. case the right. same manner if you purchase one soap you'll get another soap also free okay but uh, for the soap it is not charged so you just right. pay off for one soap only so in these two cases in the first cases you are purchasing one product and you are getting another product different different product you are getting as right. free in the second case you are purchasing uh, one product and use the same product you are getting one more as free so right. those things i mean how to work it out you will see under the free of course okay so this right. overall covers the sales part whatever I have talked this much okay all these things for the sales as a sales part, yeah. this much this much we have covered okay right. then we have delivery and billing okay before that there is something very important thing which we will study that is called as pricing okay right. under pricing we will be studying how there is how this pricing condition technique works it's a very important thing okay how the prices are getting determined in the sales order automatically so so for that we need to study something called pricing what is called pricing procedure okay what is called as condition type what is called as access sequence 
okay what is called as um, condition tables okay these are the things so right. once uh, you understand these things okay you will easily you can appreciate how the prices works in the uh, in an order okay then next to that only we go to the delivery part the next one is the delivery so right. basically delivery is a physical activity if you if yep. you just consider delivery okay you have to uh, a person has to go to the warehouse a plant and uh, as per the sales order he goes to the product he collect the product that is called picking and he stag it and then they will pack the product and after the packing okay they have to plan the transportation as per the transportation they have to load the product and after the loading the vehicle will be sent to the customer place right. so all these things are manual works so all these right. manual works we need to update it every time when they have done the task so that's why we use a document we call it as a delivery document okay okay like sales order we have delivery we say delivery or delivery document and this delivery document needs to be controlled right we, we need to control the delivery document how it need to process okay that's why we have delivery type so in sales order we uh, have three views right one is header item and schedule and category so these three views only forms the sales order as i said okay right. the same manner for delivery document okay there are two views there is no schedule line okay only header and item so the header is taken care i mean the control by we call it as a delivery type right. and the item is controlled by delivery item category mm -hmm. okay so here also i mean we have the copy control setup so this is a delivery specific copy control setup okay we have and under the delivery we have uh, uh, there are several types of deliveries okay we study how the types of deliveries are so like we call it as a order combination so two orders will combine if the customer is same and we send it as one delivery okay that is called as order combination right likewise uh, split delivery okay so let's say uh, you have uh, one order but when you are sending the uh, delivery you'll you'll do two deliveries okay right. maybe because the stock is not there that time okay that is called as split delivery likewise mm -hmm. we do partial delivery okay certain times the stock will be not available only one stock will be available so whatever the available stock will send it to the customer okay later the stock comes will will uh, do it so these are the types of deliveries which will be studying then we have something called delivery due list so every day in a operation i mean if you see in a support project or in a production I mean, product i mean operation uh, day to day uh, activities delivery is one of the key thing okay on a every day basis the delivery will be happening for some other customer on a day to day basis so a system should be there need to check okay uh, on this date which are the customers where uh, their deliveries are due so that is called a delivery due list so automatically uh, system will get okay a uh, today's date i mean we have to do the delivery for these customers like that i mean referring to these orders so all these things come under the delivery due list then as i said delivery is a physical activity so there are certain activities like sub process like picking okay packing yeah and then finally we have something called post goods issue okay we shortly called as pgi it is nothing but when you are sending the goods to the customer that last yeah. phase that is called as pgi post goods issue once you have done this it means delivery has been done the delivery part we have we have processed it okay, okay. so after this system i mean customer will receive the delivery the last process is the billing for us right okay so for billing also we need to keep the billing related information everything so sap has billing document and this billing document also there are two views are there okay like we have seen header and item right the same manner for billing document also we have yeah. this header and this header is controlled by we call this billing type okay and item basically i mean it is the item category which uh, taken care okay which is get copied from the delivery document okay there is no much specific item category we say on top of it we have this billing due list like in delivery due list okay uh, on a day to day basis we'll identify which are the deliveries needs to be done in likewise we have billing due list on a day to day basis which are the delivery related document or order related document needs to be billed okay so we have this billing due list and we have billing type okay billing type means i mean like we have two type of billing one is called as periodic billing and milestone billing so mm -hmm. how does this is customized okay how it works so basically it works in the contract uh, related uh, documents 
so how this works there is the billing type okay so these are the main things which will be studying and and also i mean uh, in, the, in the billing type only i mean there are so many uh, uh, billing uh, uh, process will be studying like uh, what is called as invoice pro forma invoice yeah okay likewise um, credit memo okay likewise debit memo so all these things will will uh, everything comes under the billing type okay under the header likewise right. uh, in the delivery type also there are several uh, delivery uh, different types of deliveries are there so those things comes under the delivery type likewise under the sales the sales document type okay under the sales document type only we study all the things like uh, uh, the inquiry okay quotation so this is all the uh, id same saying okay uh, standard order likewise uh, rush order or means rush order cash sales cs means cash sales okay right. and consignment order ci then return orders even return also it works okay then subsequent delivery free of charge so there are so many things okay like this so right. all these things we study in the sales document type okay so this right. complete things that was the sales and distribution model right and no. uh, yeah. yeah now this is the what we have covered or given the uh, the overview is for the ecc snd model is it or is it like it's the same the process flow is the same but like uh, those are two different applications now which uh, the, S, the s4 and ecc hana the s4 hana and the same ECC. same same it's it's the same ditto concept wise process wise everything is the same only right there is but no change in it. only the, okay. the look will be different that's it okay so right. I'm, I'm practicing sd from past to uh, i mean from 2006 okay so okay. there is no change in it it is the same concept everything there is not at all any uh, single change in this right okay so, so all, what's, what's, what's the know? what's the major difference between these two now like how come these are two now in the market like what is as for hana now like like because i was talking to uh naveen and he was saying which one do you want to study you want your training on the ec or the s4 hana basically basically uh, yeah. the database okay earlier in ecc the database i mean the tables what we have and in the s4 hana the tables okay the, the tables are simplified okay, okay so for a technical condition or for a technical consultant it's a it, it kind of a different way of studying for a functional consultant okay the concept wise it is same it's the same okay, okay. yes 100 percent is the same right and uh, so like uh, so now what should i like i should be given training i will be getting training on the on the overall sap s and d and so it's it's yes. not like yes see basically i'll tell you uh, s4 hana is nothing but uh, uh, i mean in in sap ecc okay whenever i mean you need to connect with the server yeah right so it's actually a tool so you need to have a server with the server only for each user i mean uh, you will have a login login pad right. that they will login okay so once the s4 hana came it's like directly you go to a url you click the url and lost the username password and you start working on it right this much is the difference okay right. and uh, the maximum uh, what you can say control is there in the back i mean uh, ecc only not in s4 hana screen Okay, right. so Hana screen is just a, a, a blend which they have done. Okay, from the SAP ECC. Okay, right. but in SAP ECC has the maximum potential of doing the customizing. Right, but okay. like what? Yeah. What I came across was like they are now uh, saying that you know there will be migration happening from ECC to the S4 Hana. So yes, when when whenever you have the migration happening, you should know the ECC also. Yeah. Okay, that is a hot topic. It's an evergreen yeah. topic. Okay, so you should know the ECC. That's that's what I'm saying. ECC yeah. is an evergreen. Okay. Right. So with this ECC as a copy only, they go as a uh, in S4 HANA. Right. Okay. Only the table sites get changes. Okay, for the technical consultant when they are writing the program, they should know the tables. Okay, for us as a functional consultant, the functional, the whole process, everything is similar. The same only. Right. It's not even similar. It's the same only okay
yeah uh, that's it from my side okay and uh, from the class details like i mean each class uh, you will have a recording session so that you can refer it in your future uh, uh, whenever you refer then uh, we'll i'll i'll provide the study materials okay and then um, if you want if you request navin i mean he can provide you the system also where you can uh, practice okay yeah so these are the i mean uh, offerings from the class so right uh, so uh, and like what you will be uh, teaching and uh, will be the theory part and the training and the practical part right yes, and, yes. Uh, so, i i always i always make you clear the concept then yeah. i go to sap school and i'll show you how to do it and we can uh, see the result right. that's all it shows so how many uh, how much time uh, does it require to go through this whole uh, training part like uh, minimum minimum i mean uh, since you said that you have the sales process knowledge okay yeah so it will take minimum 20 to 25 hours it will take right okay so it depends upon the individual how they grasp okay accordingly only i can uh, i mean speed or slow the I mean, uh, class okay so right. it depends upon the individual I, I need to understand i mean how much you grasp so accordingly i mean i mean i can say so always the range is like 20 to 25 hours i can say right so so like what do you what what will be the schedule you think will look like uh for this like on a weekly basis like how much time and i i take daily and uh, weekly okay even, even combined also okay so if you let me know your convenient timing so accordingly i will see my schedule and i can fix the time and what do you mean by combined combined means weekdays and weekends i'm saying oh okay i thought like combining with uh, some other students as well no 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 no. i i usually take uh, one by one only okay, okay yeah that's what i was thinking so that 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 grabs more uh, i mean interest and so, attention also. so like i i am pretty much available right now but like i uh, so like but obviously i will also need to practice right uh, and once i will take the class so i need to practice the same so in order to you know get some more hands on it right so how do you suggest we go about it because i'm pretty much available like to, uh, during the week okay week i mean at this time uh this time is uh, is also doable yeah okay now. this time you know like right now the this is the time where the kids start yes. get ready if 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 it can be like 8 30 you know like we we you are uh 8 30 a.m canada time please? canada time 8 30 morning <laughs> yeah so we started at 7 10 today so like after half an hour of what it is right now or there what, what time what time do you have right now yeah them? yeah i mean we can do it right now i mean at current time here is uh, 6 25 pm 6 25 okay so here is 7 55 a.m mm -hmm. so if you want to start by uh, uh 7 25 you say right so 7 means uh, here it is 6 right <clears throat> So your time is 7 a.m. So like, 6 p.m. Yeah, so 7 p.m. Yeah, 7 p.m. will be here, will be at 8 30, right? Yeah, your 7 p.m. Okay, my 7 p.m. will be your uh, 8 30. Is it fine? You, you, it's 6 25 p.m. right there at the moment, right? Yeah, I think uh, Naveen can uh, take it forward. Okay, Naveen can help yeah. us uh, to fix the timing. We need okay, to bother right. about it i mean he will uh, get your convenient time and my convenient time and uh, he will uh, check it and he can give the time right okay. so i'll just request i mean i'll just unshare the screen i'll just check Navin is available one moment i'll just okay. check here sure I'm just calling him. Give him a moment. Yeah. Okay.
Hello. Yeah. Hi, Navi. Ah, uh, hi, Tanya. Uh, Johib uh, wants to discuss the 